It's me, Craig. Craig Son 3, the champion of this YouTube channel. That might be taking it a little too far. Let's try the intro again. Welcome everybody to another episode of Brofram's Gaming Adventures. Here today we'll be playing a little bit of Dying Light, the following enhanced edition. Why did she just stand there and take that arrow? We'll probably never know. But as we play this game today, I'll take you through uh, me hoarding every little thing that I can find because I stuff is life. Uh, materialization, materialism. It's all about the things, am I right, people? All about the things. So, <coughs> uh, I'm pretty sure this clip, uh, I tried to do trick shots and use the bow and arrow. How well that worked, I don't really remember, because it was a while ago, and I'm much higher levels now, but obviously it's not going very well at all. Does that not count? Alright, well, whatever, that worked. One to the neck, one to the chest. Keep going, like hunting deer. Look, another one. D you know, Dying Light's been out for a while now. And they still have this thing where zombies will think that there's a door there, like it's a glitch, and they'll just kind of stand there. And they'll just swat at the door, not to any effect whatsoever. So, we are running a quest, a survivor's guide to zombie land. And I think that might be uh, a slight reference to multiple movies. Although I wouldn't know. I'm not the movie buff of this channel. That's Mercedes. Um, everybody, you saw her uh, season episode one. I think it's season six of that show. Wow. I'm drawing a blank here. Shame on me. Whatever. Back to the game. So with Dying Light, you know, you have your regular zombies, your shamblers, your walkers, whatever you want to call them. Then you have the virals. These fast little devilish motherfuckers that'll run up on you. And when they start swinging, they won't stop. And every swing that they land on you is retarded amounts of damage. It's ridiculous. I don't know how many times in this game. At night. At night, yeah. Because I go out at night, I'm that guy. And I'll be running through the streets, and I will get mowed down by a mob of virals. I'm talking like 12 of them just chasing me. Like, just chasing. It doesn't matter, even if I turn around and shoot with an assault rifle, or a rifle, anything, shotgun, put a grenade out, they'll just keep coming. There's, no, there's just so many, because noise attracts them. And, you know, I think that's an accurate representation of how zombies would be. Noise attracts them weird because they're dead and you think you know none of their senses would work anymore but you're wrong dead wrong get it dead <laughs> bad jokes not funny continuing in this game yep look at that beautiful trick shot in this game you have to be able to work with a variety of tools to survive so you know we have the simple hatchet the everyday wood chopper, you know, or limb chopper, whatever. And you just, you gotta, you gotta make it work. Like I did. I threw it at somebody. Got him right in the head. Dead. Or you can use a gun, shoot him in the head. Yeah, same effect, but it draws more people. That's why I prefer the silent weapons. So let's see, we're going to the bridge. Oh, what did they call that bridge? It was a failed project with giant UV lights that they ended up having to destroy because it didn't work because the city's power grid failed. Oh, I hate these guys. Nasty little spitters. Oh, look at that. All that health gone. Just gone. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Just a little bit of that. Punk ass bitch. Continuing. Moving forward. Or backwards. Let's see. Are we going to pick a new weapon? Did I pick a new weapon? Nope. I just kind of wasted everybody's time by scrolling through my menu. I'm sorry. Hmm. Can we pick the chest? Yes. Yes, we can. So, 
Is everybody psyched about Battlefield Five? Because I know I am. Or Battalion 1944. I don't. That game, people haven't heard about as much, but that game is going to rival Call of Duty and Battlefield in this upcoming, you know, duke it out fight series that Call of Duty and Battlefield always has this November. So. <coughs> What do you think? Do you think Battlefield 5 is finally going to give Call of Duty an ass whooping? Or is Call of Duty going to hold its own and, you know, continue to have better sales than Battlefield? We'll have to see. Now, don't quote me on saying better sales because I might be dead wrong. But in my past experience with hearing about people buying Call of Duty and Battlefield, People have always said that they've bought Call of Duty more than Battlefield. Not until recently have I met people who are like, oh yeah, Battlefield all day. Call of Duty doesn't stand a chance. And I'm with that crowd now. I haven't bought a Call of Duty game in, oh uh, geez, since like Black Ops 2. I think that's where I stopped. Um, that's, that's honestly, I think that's where they got bad. They started getting too futuristic, too crazy with it. I could believe the drones and stuff. And maybe the stuff that they did in 3. Maybe, but I don't think so. I mean, come on, guys. It's a little ridiculous. Why are we? Why am I standing here? This is an awful clip for me to record over. I'm just... Oh, I remember. I was scared. I didn't want to go on the bridge. Or did I walk away from my controller? Nope, I was scared. I was just trying to plan my best route of attack. And there was none. It's just a charge. Just run right into the thick of it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ooh, gruesome. Gruesome. So nasty. Um... I don't know if I'm going to make the video run longer or if I'm just going to cut it short. I kind of want you guys to see what happens on the bridge here. Look at this. Horde of them. Horde of them. I remember b before um, Dying Light was like really popular, I played it. Got it like the day it came out, I think, because I was such a big fan of Dead Island. Because Techland made this game, mind you. I spent like an hour on this bridge just throwing firecrackers and molotovs, just racking up points, killing these stupid zombies. They were even worse back then. The AI in the beginning when this game was launched was awful. Just awful. I'm really surprised it's come this far. Whoa. Yeah, those suiciders are great. Here, here we go. One, two, three. It's so funny. The ragdoll effects are great, though. The physics are beautiful in this game. It's so much fun. I'm sorry. I'm playing with the microphone. If that's making weird noises, I apologize. I'm just playing with it. This is um, this is my buddy's. Uh, Dave says I have one on the way. I'm at his house right now. We're hanging out. Um, we're gonna be doing some commentary together when he gets back. But uh. We'll see. We're probably going to do some Battlefield commentary after this. And maybe some other stuff. But I'm not going to tell you what that is. That's a surprise. Um, I do have good news. We have an Elgato on the way. So we'll be able to record long... Oh, God. Epic fail. I'm sorry. I epic fail. That was bad. That was awful. And I think throughout this series that I'm going to do with this, you're going to see that... Falling is a trend for me, like, all the time. Like, if I'm about to, like, you know, important objective, get into it, going really fast, and running, jumping, I'll fall and die. And I, I mean, that's it. There's no grabbing on anything, no miracle from, you know, wherever. I die. I fall and I die, and it's just that. It's sad. It's like, oh, yeah, we're about to get to that objective. Let's go. And then, no, Craig, fall, die. You're worthless. Your gaming is worthless. Shame on you for thinking you could put it on YouTube. And that's where the gaming gods were wrong. So back to the good news. Good news is I am getting my own microphone. An Elgato. And my uh, 
Sniper 3 game came in. God, that's not even the name of it. Shame. For shame. I was going to say the name, too. I had the name, like, in my mouth, ready to speak it, and it just it didn't happen. I'm so sorry. But we're going to be doing a series of Sniper Final Fantasy Type-0 HD. Uh, hopefully, Final Fantasy X and X2, the remastered edition on PS4. Um, you'll see Battlefield forever. Battlefield is like a mainstay for this channel. It always will be. Me and Floyden are uh, going to be tearing it up in that. Uh, what else? What other good news did I have? Uh, I had something else. Oh, Davis, Floyden, and I are going to be doing a commentary series uh, called Battlefield Together. And basically what it is, is it'll probably be uploaded today. We're going to sit here, we're going to play games, and then we're going to record it together so we can speak for whoever was playing at that moment. You know what I'm saying? Like, he plays, and then I play, and we go back and forth with the mic speaking and talking, or in between, whatever, and just talking, explaining what's going on, and showing you guys how awful our aim is. Especially when we're laughing. It's really bad when we're Why laughing. Like like um, but when wrong. the Elgato comes in, we'll be able to record What's audio that? and gameplay yeah. at the same time, so it's live, Please. rather than Please having do. to do post audio, which is a little more awkward, in my opinion, because I'm sitting here watching the game be played with no audio, and then having to talk to you guys. So I'm having to, I'm having to like gauge how loud it is and how loud I'm talking. And it's just, it's a pain in the butt. But I'm sure some of you know about that if you make your own YouTube videos. Um, so some series to be on the lookout for. Like I said, The Battlefield Together, Dying Light, Rainbow Six Siege. Davis and I just both got copies of the Gold Edition. We're going to be doing that. And it's going to be, uh, uh, we haven't thought of a title yet, but I'm thinking something funny. Something something nobody would really expect um tactical marketing no that's not it never mind i didn't say that um if we could somehow record playstation 2 gameplay i would like to because nobody does any anything with the playstation 2 that's like you know a ginormous youtube channel so maybe we could bring back some of the oldies but goodies. Um, the GameCube. I would love to get Metroid Prime up on the channel. That game. Oh, so good. Uh, speaking of which. The GameCube. They're. What did they say? Was their asking price. Um, the asking price for certain GameCube games has skyrocketed. Like. Super Smash Brothers, uh, Super Mario Sunshine. I found a copy for like forty dollars, and I had to laugh and be like, "Are you serious?" And then I thought about it. I'm like, "Oh wait, this console is like almost ancient, almost." So it kind of makes sense that the games would be so expensive because they're not produced anymore. But me being me, and you know, the amount of time I take to think would make it a little difficult for me to process the information that didn't make any sense I'm so sorry but jeez back to the game basically what I'm going to try to get out of this series the Stein Light series is I'm going to try to show you guys all the things I go through and even though it's post audio, I can still remember some of this stuff vividly. Like the fear of being out at nighttime or getting attacked by a swarm of virals. I'm going to try to get that to you guys. And some of the funnier stuff as well. So, as always, thank you for watching. This is Ben. So, Everybody, leave a like and subscribe.